Today I'm going to show you how to do a very quick product placement photograph for a website using a white background. I have tried this many times using a high-end DSLR camera, taking a photograph of a product but getting the background to be an exact white is always very difficult. So I've decided to use a new technique which is very similar to green screen. So I've taken a photograph of a bracelet and I've taken the photograph using a green background. It's actually a green piece of card. I'm just going to open this from my desktop. So here's the photo. So this is actually using my smartphone. You can see it's focused on the front, a little bit blurry at the back. I'm just going to zoom into 100% to show you something. So this is 100%. So quality actually isn't that bad, blown up. But more importantly, I want you to see these fibers on this card. This is very important. So we're going to zoom back out and we're going to try and change all of this green into a perfect white and then what we're going to do is we're going to place it onto this white background I've already prepared here. We're actually going to go to image adjustments and we're going to go to replace color and we're going to stick on localized clusters and we're going to click on plus and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five and we're going to output this to a bright white. Now what you'll notice first of all is this isn't a bright white background, but we have some settings here we can change. So we're going to drop the saturation down and we're going to bring the lightness up. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. May even just drop this hue down to zero as well. Let's press OK. All right, so we're nearly there. Let's just zoom in again back to that 100% position I showed you earlier on. You can still see there's quite a fair bit of green around here at the moment. Now I'm going to leave it on 100%, but what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Image Adjustments and we're going to go to Hue and Saturation. We're going to choose Greens and we're going to desaturate and up the brightness. We're also going to do this for Cyan, very similar color to green. We're going to desaturate and we're going to up the brightness and press OK. So now you can see we've got this almost perfect white background, but we're still showing some of the fibers of the paper, which I actually quite liked. I'm going to come out, looking pretty good to me. I'm going to crop this image. Just crop into the sides. So about there, click OK. And our final thing is to drag this onto the white background I'd already prepared. And let's just make sure we can transform this so it fits on the page. Drag this down. We can scroll this up, put it in the middle of the page. There we go. And click OK. And now if I zoom in at 100%, not only can you still see the fibers with no green, we've still got everything in focus, which is fantastic. We've not lost any color within the beads. But more importantly, if I go around the edges of the image, you can see it matches absolutely perfectly to the white background it is already on. Thanks for taking the time to view the videos guys. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget, give me a thumbs up.